What's up guys, Nathan here back with another video and today I'm going to tell you exactly how I set up my training program and then walk you through a week of workouts. If you've been following the channel, you probably know that I have this strange fascination with deadlifting. And this is exactly how I plan to get up to a 600 pound deadlift, 650, 700, and so on. Now if you want to skip the explanation for the way I train and just get to the program itself, then I'll put a little timestamp here so you could skip ahead. It might take a couple minutes for me to explain exactly what the conjugate method is. So the way I train is called the conjugate method, and this can get a little complicated, and it's not something that I recommend for beginners, but I'm going to try my best to simplify it. Basically, the conjugate method is a set of training principles. It's not a strict program. It's not a cookie cutter kind of workout routine that you can find online and start working on yourself. How I explain this to people is that conjugate method is all about weak point training. Everybody has weak points in their lifts, whether it's the bottom of the squat, whether they can't get the bar off the ground in a deadlift, or whether they get the bar stuck on their chest in a bench press. So the conjugate method is going to target each and every one of your specific weak points and enhance them so you get stronger overall. The conjugate method is very flexible and there are a few loose guidelines you can choose to follow, but you don't necessarily have to. Some people say that you need to train four days a week on the conjugate method. Two of those days are dedicated to lower body work where you're working on your squat and your deadlift, and the other two days are dedicated to your upper body, which includes your bench press and your overhead press. These two days are further split into the max effort and the dynamic effort days. On a max effort day, you're lifting heavy weights. You're working up to a weight that you can only crank out for one, two, or maybe even up to five reps. And when you can't put more weight on the bar and complete whatever predetermined number of reps you decide to aim for, that's when you drop the weight down and then work with lighter weights to wrap up your workout. On a dynamic effort day, your main goals are speed and technique. A lot of people think that strength is only all about brute force. Whereas it's actually not. You need to actually learn to optimize your body's leverages to be able to lift the most weight possible. On this dynamic effort day, you're going to be honing in on your technique and lifting sub-maximal weights. So with all that talking out of the way, now I'm going to tell you exactly how I set up my program. I'm going to walk you through templates for both the max effort and the dynamic effort days, and these can be applied to both your squat, bench, and deadlift. I'm not going to promise you that this is going to work for 100% of people, but it's worked really well for me and for most of the people that I've trained with. Okay guys, so we're going to try to fly through this. I'm going to take you through how I set up my max effort day, my dynamic effort day. For the Cliff Notes version, the max effort day, you're going to be lifting as heavy a weight as possible. For the dynamic effort day, you're going to be lifting lighter weights, but as fast as you can and with correct form. So how I've set up the max effort over here can be applied to all three of your squat, bench, and deadlift. Now when I get in the gym on a max effort day, my goal is to warm up and then work my way up to a heavy triple, also known as a 3 rep max. What a 3 rep max is means that you're working with the weight so heavy that you can only successfully complete 3 reps of it and no more than that. Once you've hit your 3 rep max, you're going to drop down to 80% of that and then do 3 more sets. The first set is going to be an AMRAP, which means as many reps as possible. Let's say you hit 400 pounds for your 3 rep max, you're going to drop down to 320 pounds and then try to crank out as many reps as you can. After that, you're going to use that same weight, 320 pounds, and hit two more sets of five reps each. Now, once you've finished your heavy triple, your AMRAP set, and your two sets of five, you get to move on to your three accessory exercises, each for three sets of eight to 10 reps. Now, these accessories shouldn't be picked mindlessly. For example, I know that I have a weak ass and weak hamstrings, so my accessories are going to be used to target these opportunities for improvement. Once you can hammer out your weaknesses, you're going to be able to start building your strength. Moving on. What a lot of people don't know is that you don't always have to be working with heavy weight to get stronger, which is a nice segue into dynamic effort. Basically, on your dynamic effort day, you're going to be working with a percentage of your one rep max and moving that as fast as you can. Earlier, we talked about finding your three rep max on your max effort days. Finding your one rep max is very similar where you just work up to a weight where you can only hit it for one rep and no more. Now once you've found your one rep max, whether you've tested it in the gym or estimated it, in your first week of the program, you're going to take 60% of that and perform 10 sets of three reps with that weight. Every week after that, you're going to add 5% to this percentage right here. For example, in week two, you're going to be working with 65% of your one rep max and in week three, 70% and so on. Then your accessory exercises are going to be very similar to the ones on your max effort day. Here, because this doesn't take as much time as doing a max effort, I've chosen to do either three or up to four accessory exercises for that same three sets of eight to 10 reps. 
Now you can choose to do the same accessory exercises that you did on your max effort day, or you can choose to spice it up a little, add a little variety, and do different accessory exercises which hit different weak points or the same weak points from a different angle. I'm going to wrap up this video by showing you my whole week of workouts, which included a max effort day for deadlifts and a dynamic effort day focused on deadlifts as well. If you found this video helpful or want me to expand further into the conjugate method or how you can apply it to all of your lifts, please leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.